Anyway, uh, salsa thing, a few gravy or cheese salsa thing too. When we break up in the baskets, I said that's where the coach is. And one thing, I, I've never had this much people helping before, and this is really nice. This is really good because people have us come, but then it's like we're just babysitting. Okay? They need to learn this so they can keep teaching you and add on to what they already know. Okay? And that's why this will be, this is so nice. So they'll be helping you too, and I will oversee everything, okay? Because if they learn how to do it, then that's how you guys really get going. And if you learn how to do it, you really get it going, okay? Okay, the first thing we're going to do is, um, when I looked at your shot, just so you guys know, this is good. A lot of things I can help you on. Some of it's just little things, like this uh, Jacob right here. He has a very nice form, okay? I noticed there's some I'll really notice. A lot of some of the girls have, but it's just little things. Some of the youngsters, you guys like cross your hands. You know, like you're swimming upstream, okay? But I'm gonna help you with all that, okay? Little thing, but like I said, we're gonna break it all the way down, and I think we'll we'll start on the follow through first. And just so you know, when I told you about the finger, okay? If you don't have any type, if you're not a good shooter at all, then kind of work with, let's try that, okay? Those of you that are pretty good, if you do the, because at first, when I first met Coach Hoover, it was all about the finger, that was it. But then I was telling him, Coach, I, I don't shoot like that. I mean, I don't know, I don't exactly do cookie jar, but I dominate with these two fingers. But these are the ones you need to dominate with. You guys understand that? Either this one, that one, or both of them. The reason we don't like cookie jar is because you have a chance for them to go off of these fingers, and that's when the ball goes off that way. You guys understand? That's the reason we don't say it. Because I told Coach, I said, hey, Steph Curry cookie jar, and he's the hottest thing out right now, okay? But he, I know he dominates with these fingers, so you guys understand that? So the first thing we're gonna do is, we're just gonna work on the finger. If you guys already have a good follow through, we'll just work on a regular follow through. And how we're gonna do this is, we'll always go two sides. So Gregory again, we'll switch back and forth so everyone will get to work with everybody. So, so don't switch yourselves up. We all wanna work together, okay? So uh, what we're gonna do, when you go, whoever goes on that side, you're gonna line up all around the baseline, uh, to the sideline, to the center court, and my people on this side, all right, let's go. And then hold the balls, line up, all around the edges, and Turn around the other side. But you gotta back it up. One thing about swagger is you better back it up, okay? I talk a lot when I play, but I back it up. I put in a lot of hours of work. Hours and hours, I still put in hours. Until Gregory understood, I said, how can I be putting in more hours than you when you're trying to play college basketball? He finally got it. He put in a lot of work and it, worked and it paid off. So the first thing we're gonna do now, everyone just put the ball down right by themselves real quick. I want you to put your hand up high like this, and I want you to do the one finger down, three up. Okay, and, and Gregory and I will come by, and we'll just check you out. When I get past you, you can put your hand down, okay? So we want to overlap. Should I be filming this? Sure. Follow me one. Okay. It overlaps your thumb like you're pinching to pick something up. Good. Oh, that's perfect. Perfect right here. Perfect. Good. Good. And lock your wrist out. Because even, even if you shoot your way, we want our wrist locked out. Okay? Good. Overlap. Good. Good. Thank you. Oh, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, that's, perfect. Oh, that's good. That's how you do it. That's why I don't like to go first. I like to go second or third so I can copy everybody. <laughs> Alright, that's good. Now, just for a little warm-up, and I'm going to tell you why. Everything Coach Hoover tells me, because that is my boss, I go and work on it. He'll come up with, he might call me and say, hey, did you try scratching your ear and shooting? I'm going to do it because I'm going to try something. I worked on the finger. It does work. I, once I got it going, but like I told you, it's too many years I've been shooting my way, and my way's pretty good, so I'm going to stick with it. But I want to teach you guys the right way, okay? So now, everyone put your hand out straight like this. And look, and you can tell yourself, Straight out. Which finger goes perfectly straight most? Some it's the middle, but I'm sure most of you isn't it the index finger a lot? That's why that's why Coach Hoover and I'm sure Kobe and Michael Jordan do that. They're figuring if the ball comes off that finger, 
that's going right to the basket. Now, once again, it's okay. I'm, I'm good with the middle finger coming off the, these two fingers. That's fine. But I just want you to experiment with this. So now put our hand out, put your wrist up, and then lock it out to the finger. Up, lock it out. Up, lock it out. Up, lock it out. Now up high. Up, lock it out. Up, lock it out. Up, lock it out. Now full extension. Bam. Every time. That's how you want to. However you shoot, we want to do this. Okay? Good. Good. All right? So now we're going to get the ball. Now remember, I don't know how it is out here, but in California, I mean, we got a million trainers and everything is about <laughs> crossover and then they shoot a brick. And I can't stand playing with those guys. I'm sitting there. Really? Okay? Me? I told you, I'm a street ball player. I'm one of the most famous of all time. But I don't do all that crap. I, want, I just want to get to the back. I, I do one, two, or three, and then four. My college guys, they know me. Bang, 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 or bang, bang, bang. Do something with the ball, okay? So, and another thing, you're doing all these moves and then you miss. His favorite player is Rajon Rondo, right? I don't know if you guys know what they do to him. They just back up off him because he can't shoot, okay? Can't have that. I want you to be shooters. Who gets to the basket real good here? Who goes to the hole good? Give me some hands. So you guys are also going to make the greatest shooters in the world there, right? Well, if you do get to the hole, this learning how to shoot helps your game. That was my thing. I got to the basket at will. Once I got a jumper, it just created so much more havoc for everybody, okay? But anyways, the point I'm making in LA, we do this a lot. Everyone's a trainer. They, they do all these other crazy moves and they want to tell you now that you got to shoot on the move all the time. You can't stand there and shoot. That, that's ridiculous, okay? You have to start out form shooting first. So that's what we're going to do all day today is nothing but form shooting. So when we do the finger, you're going to shoot, you hold your form until the ball hits the ground, then you go get it, okay? Because you do, we will get into on the move. He's got a million moves for you, I got a million moves for you on the move. But right now, it's all about form shooting. That means we're taking our time, we're doing everything the right way, let it bounce, do not drop your hand till the ball bounces, go and pick it up. You can either go back to your spot or wherever you're at, shoot it again, let it bounce. That's what we're doing now. Let's go, we'll critique your shots. Where's my, oh, I took your ball, you got another one? Thank 
Coach wanted me to use a microphone, but I think I'll break it because I, I get really loud. Okay, that's how I am, so I'll make sure I'll walk, make the rounds. If you guys see how slow we're going right now, hey, we want to get it right. Just so you know, uh, my buddy had me, he hired me to work for a Nike grassroots camp. I'm not, not knocking Nike and all them, but they want to go to big cities. They got a million kids, and you guys don't get the train that throw the balls out. I was there for two days, eight hours. And I'm thinking, all right, I'm gonna come and work for my buddy, make a little money. All he had me do was rebound and watch for two days. So I got the pro shot system down and I sat there and watched. And you know how many times they critique people's shot in two, two days, eight hours? Zero. Charged uh, $295 per kid for two days. And I never, I'm, I'm, the whole time I'm waiting for him to say, come on, Greg, work with the shot. And I was like, wow, I, I, I just wasn't impressed at all. Well, I'm not going to come out here and roll the balls out. I'm telling you, you two days of real good instruction. So be prepared for that. Now, if you guys get it together really good between today and tomorrow, maybe that last, that last hour, I'll work on you guys. If not, whoever gets it, three-on-three -three basketball, okay? And you guys can enter tournaments, okay? I'm probably, my team is probably one of the top 10 teams of all time in the world in three on three, okay? You guys heard of the Princeton offense, anybody? You know Princeton's pretty good? We play against them. We're 500 with the Princeton guys, okay? They battle us, we battle them, but I'll tell you what, I hate playing them more than anybody in my life. I'd rather play a bunch of athletic LA or Milwaukee hood guys than I would playing against them Princeton slow white dudes. Because the first time I take a breath, boom, they're back door. And I'm, it just kills me, okay? Then I'm closing out. Now they up fake and come around, penetrate and dish, penetrate and dish, and then they hit one in our face, okay? But I learned a lot from them. I love the way those guys play basketball. So I like to mix a little bit of street, but I love the, the set offense that they have, okay? So I want to teach, we might, I might be able to teach you that game a little bit. Okay, what we're gonna do now is, now we're gonna go, this is what you do. You can, you can take turns, some can go on a wall if there's not enough room. But I want everyone to shoot three or four here and then rotate so someone else. Now we're going to do our one-handed shooting, okay? Now me, everyone's different. I don't knock what people do. I just do what's best for me sometimes. I only do one-hand shooting maybe this far away. Other, after you start getting here, I want to do the proper technique. But in close, I love it. So here, you got the ball here. We got it here. Nice form, you got your elbow, your L, and I want you to work on the finger, and we're working on shooting straight. So you can go here, or you can go here, if you can hit the front of the rim, focus good enough here, or you can shoot on this side, or you can shoot here, or you can just go to a wall and find you a nice spot, try to hit one of those lines every time. You guys got that? That's what we're working on now. Let's go, spread out, and all the coaches and all of us will come and check you out. How you doing? Hi, Are you going to follow me? Yeah, I'm following you. I am following you. You're lucky I'm from L.A. I'm used to that crazy stuff. <laughs> so you're playing the team here? Yep. Yeah. What year are you? I'm, I'm going to be a senior next so year. So you're not working out though? What? You're not working out with us? Well, I can, but I'm recording right now, okay. so no, we'll do a little bit of both. Sure keep track yeah, of things, definitely. Okay? And if any time we have a little chance, I can spend a little time with you guys just to get you guys. Sounds good. Oh. I don't know. That's worse. So let me see. Let's start with the cookie. 
go first. This is a lot of that. So now that's why I want to see the next phase. Yeah. Next phase, we'll go to the next phase.
to do. That's called the sway. So the first thing we had, what was this? Okay, now we got the sway. It's going to break the whole body down, okay? But the kind of skinny thing a little bit, but I want to like that right there, okay? Um, now let's go with, let's shoot some more shots again. I'll tell you to stop again. Go. Once I pass you, Bam, I'm here, I'm here, look at this. All I'm doing is this. 
You guys understand that a little bit? Once again, I'm just showing you. That's our philosophy. So the next drill we're going to do, we're going to do it without the ball again. So you can set the ball down. And then spread out all over the country, all over the baskets, on the sidelines, the lines. Go ahead, spread out. Both sides. Let's go. Some can line up here. If you want to showcase yourself, don't be afraid. Come out here. Nobody in here has swag and confidence. All right, watch this drill. Yeah, he's putting you out there. That's what I would do too. You know. All right, listen up. We're going to over exaggerate. Just because I want you to understand. Now, ladies, this is a big struggle for you. Oh, matter of fact, let me get the ladies and girls mad at me real quick. All right, we'll get this out of the way. I'm going to go 75%. Maybe it's a little higher. Here's how females shoot, all right? Look at that. I like that I got your arms crossed. Hands on your hip. Let's see this climb. And I'm just telling you, and you're, some of you are going to laugh, some of you are going to know this. So here's the female shot in general. Not since Coach got you guys. Now, uh, the ones that don't, 
I don't want you to go all the way now. I just want you to understand. We got to turn a little bit. So now we start, and we're doing the sway and the turn. So you want to jump in front of the line, and we're turning now. Now you'll be here. Now me, if you saw me play, watch me when, I, when I'm doing. I get into my turn naturally. Some people don't. Okay, but a lot of people do. If you're a straight up player, that's fine. You're straight here. Now we're here. And look where I end up. Bam, let it hit. Go back and get it. You can start right there and go back. We're on our turn, all right? Let's go. Coming for cheap. Go ahead. Oh, that's something new. You're going to be smart. You're smart sometimes. You're done. I don't know if you guys get that because you do, you do something, but you want to do it so perfect, I need you to take off just a little bit, okay? So don't take it perfect. So when I tell you guys to do this, Sway real hard yeah. and, and turn, okay? Uh, one thing Coach brought up too, and I told you, I'm, as I go along, that's why I like it. He suggested too, which we do sometimes, but now I've been doing it more because some of you don't get it. When we first start shooting, just start turned already. You guys got that? Then after you make a few, then if you want to start straight, then we'll go to the turn. Okay? Make sure you get the sway. Now listen, every time I add something, I'm telling you right now, some of you, maybe a quarter of you, maybe half of you are going to shoot air. It's because, remember I told you that smart dumb thing, you do everything the right way, but it's not your normal shot. So if you come in here and you shoot air, uh, don't worry about it. Just do it again. So get in here again. So now we're going to turn. If you're a lefty, look at here, my one lefty. We're just going to go turn and just shoot. Turn and just shoot. Now, you don't do the sway until you get to a cloud right here. You guys understand that? You don't want to do a sway here. Man. You took yourself off the shot. You guys understand that? The further you get back is when the sway comes into play. So start out right here, everyone. Turn, make two or three, take a step back. Turn, make two or three, step back. Once you get to a cloud right here, now let's add the sway a little bit. Back again, I don't care, I'm a little bit short, and I'm going to teach you how to adjust your shot. Now I don't want to shoot short, I have a little bit more. When you learn how to change your shot in the game, that's when you're going to become good. When no one knows, like, oh, he shot short. <laughs> so now let's get to the basket. Hey, guys are doing real good. I'm telling you, I'm so impressed with the girls. You know, I made fun of you, see how we're cool, we're cool, right? Not yet, not quite yet, we'll get there. When I came to your guys' state last year, oh my God, go through it, don't be crazy. I must have went, I don't know why, he just didn't have me going all the way up. Matter of fact, I'm doing this again. I know we're coming back from Wisconsin after we go to Minnesota, Michigan, so we're all over the place, right? Well, I went up and down this state 10 or 15 times last year. I mean, it's all these schools, everywhere. I mean, the Gresham, and we got a kid, matter of fact, we got a kid in Gresham. He's been coming to the clinics since I first went there, like four years ago. And I think he's going to Marquette. Oh, this guy. And it's all pro shot. He does everything we do. He said, I saw you guys. I worked on, I can't remember his name, Hef Hefner or Hefner is his last name. But he's one of the top shooters in the state here. This guy, a lot of videos on him. He is strictly, I learned it from you guys. I practice every day. And I'm gonna see if I, I'm gonna find a video of him for tomorrow. I'll let you guys see it, okay? Uh, and his new just called me up and I said, yeah, I remember that kid. And he goes, oh man, this guy. So he's going to Marquette. Now, he's walking on because he's kind of small frame, okay? So you know, that's Division one basketball. One thing about me, I got hired as a college recruiter too. So I mean, I know, you know, me and Coach Tour, he goes, hey, great guy. I said, Coach, I have to see the kid myself play. And I said, it was kind of sick. Oh, and Division One basketball is a whole other ball game. Okay, so when we go there, though, I may have him go against Gregory, and I'll see if he, because he's a Division One defense. Okay, he's an eighth grade offense. <laughs> no, that's only because he won't shoot the ball. His confidence is not good yet, and if he plays with just me and him, he'll come and light him up. But he won't do that again. But he. he so I have to see because it gets physical. So you guys understand. The higher level you go, it's about physical too. Okay? So that, that's the point being, but that kid's a great shooter. Alright? Um, you guys are doing this really well. Back, I gotta go back to the females again. This isn't a bad thing this time, okay? 
Believe it or not, Coach who grabbed this thing, he comes up, we're called, we're one-eyed shooters, okay? So look at me when I'm, when I'm going here. This, this is how most of it, now we may be open a little bit, but once again, Carmelo Anthony is a straight one-eyed shooter. I got some girls I'll show you pictures of from Long Beach State. They're one-eyed shooters. So this is how we do it. This really helps us get the ball right in the front, right now. That's the next thing that we're going to have to Once again, you're going to shoot air balls, but the females, just so you guys know, you got this is how open a lot of you are. You're this open. This is fine. I just want to get you over a little bit. But when I did, uh, when I told you, I think I trained over 300 girls last year right, in Wisconsin and Minnesota, right? I was watching them, and I was, I was wondering why the girls jumped side to side. I figured it out. Because you, your free throws are here, right? I mean, a lot of you. So if you're on this side, you jump. So they got it lined up here. So they jump this way, so they got it lined up. We take all that away by just turning. You ladies understand that? That's why I really want you guys to understand that. We're really, hey, just this past year, pro shot is really coming with the females. So I want you guys to understand that. And one thing, another thing about females, you want to know when you become either a good player or a great shooter? This, this is what you're going to hear. All right? One of these guys here, our is going to come over here, and he's going to say, don't take it the wrong way. Man, you shoot like a dude. Hey, you play like a dude. Yeah. That's the ultimate compliment for a female, OK? Because that means Maya Moore, Diana Taurasi, uh, Della, 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 whatever her name, Della Dawn. All of them, I'll show you this, they all, they shoot like us. Boom, I am all, shoot all the way down here. Shoot like us. Boom. Man, down in Tarasa, swaying from way out here. You'll see, oh wow, she does. Swing, just like a chick, okay? Just like when I train females, I, tra I train them, they play with God. If you wanna get good, whoever wants to go to, to college, you better start playing with God, okay? All the females I play with, uh, that train with me, play with guys, and their game just goes off the hook, okay? So that's what you want to do. But back to the females again. A lot of you are shooting like this, so if we were straight up, once again, Jacob, where, where's my hand at on the back side? Okay, we got to turn, or we're going to do the one eye. So before we show video again, now I just want you to practice the one eye, okay? So just come up, turn again, and just come up, look at right down the middle. Now, a lot of you are going to do this. Hey, I haven't been wrong yet. Yeah, I saw a whole bunch of air balls when up. This is what you guys are gonna do. Hey, we're not. No, the hand's coming to you. Not your head over here. So don't do that, okay? Alright, let's go to a basket again. Start out short. Get you there tomorrow. 
Now we'll see how good you are. We'll put you on the move. I'll teach you how to come off screens, okay? We'll do that kind of stuff. Penetrate and dish, all right? Teach you, you know, when to go back, when to slip the screen, all the move. We'll do all that stuff tomorrow, okay? We'll be on the move. I got drills for you. You can do it home, or right? you can do it with your buddies and, and uh, female and your friends too, okay? Now we're on the turn. So when we, you watch these videos now, we're focusing on the turn and the jumping forward to sway. Even though I have different videos for the sway, but we're gonna watch about two or three videos right now. Yeah, I'm going to ask the front group to yes, move slide in slide forward. Move forward just so people can see a little bit easier. Move forward more. Can you see a little lady? You sure? Now you can be my guest right in front. If you don't stand in front of her, she can see. <laughs> so here's our little intro video. This is the pilot some of these shooters are you guys, and we don't want to stay like that, okay?
guys are picking up things, so don't think I'm skipping things. I'm skipping things because I want to give you guys get the reps that you guys are really getting. You got a good move here. Okay, this kid here, uh, it's so funny. My own buddies, but my buddies. I'll play with them, but I can't coach with them. <laughs> I just can't. Okay. Um, they're just a little bit different, all right? Because some people don't, like a lot of coaches here, My every player for me is a reflection of me. My guys, I'm like, Mike, he doesn't play like you play. Why don't you teach him to play like you? And some guys just don't do that, but I think that that's what I want to do, okay? But one one of my buddies says, oh, yeah, you pro shot. Yeah, that's okay, but uh, that's for little kids. So, okay. And my other buddy says, I don't think my guys are strong enough. Okay, so you know, just so you know, people aren't really studying it. They just want to make a comment. That was my own buddy. You know, I know whatever. Now I'll play with them in a minute. They can play with me anytime because they are ruthless players like I am. Okay. Well, we got a kid here who's a high school kid, Jojo Ballastero. His name. He's playing. Uh, he got a full ride scholarship at some college in New York. Once again, it's a smaller school, but it's full ride. That's what counts. Okay, good school. But he's smaller frame and wasn't real physical. Okay, and that's why he had to go a lower level, but he still. He's already freshman year doing really well. Right. Anyways, we call him the golden child of pro shot. Coach Hoover taught him. He's the first one he really taught from like nine or ten years old, him and his brother. Okay, And watch him. He's made 11 three-pointers in, in several games in high school. Now watch his sway and the turn. But the sway is ridiculous. This is why I'm trying to teach you. His range is beyond NBA range. And he weighs, I think, 150 pounds. And maybe 155, 5'9", five, 5'8". Five, but because of the things he does, which I'm not going to give away another thing we do, but because of the sway, is why he has a long range. Okay? He's from California. Look at the sway, the jumping forward, and watch how his shoulders come back. He's really relaxed. And you'll see his range off the dribble, off the pass. Look at him turn. I mean, he does everything pro shot. So we're watching his sway forward, the jumping forward. See how his body naturally leans back? That's a relaxed state. I gotta use the restroom or get a water, but remember you point, report to one of us, and then report back. You guys got that? But I, I, I forgot. Huh? Another thing we did. Swear. All the follow through. Either one is good. Just kidding. Right, one is Good this. try. One eye. What is this? Swear. All right. Here's another. 
another controversial thing. We get a lot of slack on and things about the video. Okay. Uh, matter of fact, come here. Uh, oh, there, I'm going to pass you the jump. I'm going to jump shot right here in the game. Okay. Very interesting. Give me one of my. Guys, I pick up. I was asking right here to try to find out who the shooter. You know, look at which shooter. Come uh, So I want you to watch both of them. We'll just put that both of them. Okay, come. We'll add an elbow. Watch him again. Not a bad shooter. Watch him again. Anybody know what he did that he did? Like this. 
got his legs flexed so he can react fast. He's not down there. Oh, yeah. He's got to go to the ass. He's down this long. Why do you do that? Now, for training purposes, that's good. Not in the game. You want to be able to react. Okay? Anyway, that's the main thing. You don't want to do that. This is not true. Most of you ladies shoot like this, okay? And I'm going to show you a couple videos after, too. So that means when you catch the ball, you guys are just like this, okay? Now we're going to work on the dip. Everybody, matter of fact, grab the ball again, spread out all the way around again.
first. Uh, you come right here right quick first. So you guys know I'll bring all my little uh, gadgets and stuff tomorrow. Today we're just learning how to shoot. Okay, I want you to come off the screen this way. Hold up a second. For Jay. All right, go. Boy. How tall are you? 6'12? <laughs> right. You cannot bend it. You, you, you know what's going to happen? Especially when you play against some inner city guys or something like Gregory. Gregory just smiling right now. He goes, when you go up for that shot, man, I'm going to knock that to the ball. And I'm, Dude, it took forever. I'm going to work on that with you because that's what I want you to do. That's the visual. Right now, there's an ad right now. Have a little closer stand. Come on, watch. Go, come off that screen. Okay, now stop. Now go this way. Watch your speed. Go again, come up. All right, hold it. Good, thank you very much. And just stand in the back for one quick second. All right, you go come from this side. Oh, throw away. Right. Here we go. Right, go. All right, hold it. Come to the other way. I'm looking for something again. That's why I love it. I love it when I don't find everything I want because that means I'll be able to help you. Ooh. Something else, man. But I, the only thing I got Now, what grade are you going to? I'm going to be first. Oh. Yeah, boy. Listen to me right now. I'm telling you, everyone here. If you put hours and hours in, you get out of this little countryside once in a while and go to the hood. Are you hearing me? <laughs> you're you're going to be a great player. Are you, you guys hear me? If you listen to those two things, you're young. That's good. Here we go off of this one. Oh. Hey. Uh, watch what he does that they didn't do. Here we go again. Come off. What did he do that they didn't do? Did you jump? Yeah. He did the hop. He's hopping on his shot. Watch, watch him again. Well, just do the same thing you're doing. Don't, don't do anything else. He's coming here. Hot for the time. Alright. Yeah, they all do the one, two. Here I'm coming off the screen. One, two, boom. Okay? Come on, this side. One, two, boom. Watch him again. He's coming off the hot. That's, that's awesome. I'm gonna show you why that's so a couple of times. So watch him coming off this way. Look at him. Which one do you think is quicker? He did a little one-two that time. Yeah. But just so you know, most people choose him to one two here anywhere. Okay? The hop gets off the shot quicker. You guys understand that? Ladies, ladies are doing it now too. You guys understand that? That's what we're going to now is the hop. Now the one-two, hey, nothing wrong with it. I'm old school, so I'm one-two. But last second shot, I'm gonna come off the hop. I don't have to, okay? But so he'll pass me over here. And look at the one two is good for a lot of reasons. Say I'm coming here, and then someone got my way. Of course, one, two, I step inside him. So there's nothing wrong when I say that. It's just a quicker shot. Just coming off here. One, two, I'm good with that. But the hop, we're here, is bam. We're here. Bam. Now what? Let me take come and do the hop again and then stop. Oh, come from this side and go that way. Go ahead. Now, from that, what hasn't he established? Can you imagine? This is why we do this. So he's catching off the hop. Okay? Now, if he did just do a one, two, just step in your shot, one, two. We'll say you found off the pass, so go one, two. One, two. Now, I know if he goes this way, what does he have to do with this way? It has to cross. But if he can't, can you imagine? I'm first of all chasing him off the screen. I get 
get hit by the screen, I break through, now hop, bam, I catch him here, but he hasn't established his pivot foot, so what would you do if I'm overrunning this way? So watch this, here you come. So if he was chasing me through the screen, He's, he, had to, he had to fight this screen. Now he has to close out on me. I'm here. Boom! Gone. No pivot foot. Or he's off balance already, right? So he comes. Boom! I just step. Boom! He steps back. And I got it. That's another advantage to the hop. You guys got it? So that's what we're going to work on next. Thank you. Oh, you're way ahead of me. Let me tell you something out about the Midwest, too. I know you guys saw all this California guy coming in here all crazy and weird and all this stuff. Hey, I give him credit when credit is due. You know why I have to come out here? To try to make some money. Because in California, they don't, we have a million trainers. All they want to learn is, hey, what are you going to teach me in Costco? Okay? They don't want to learn how to shoot. Okay? And you guys are unbelievable. All through here, Wisconsin, Indiana, it's just unbelievable. You guys come out to work. And that's when I came out here, I, I'm telling you, I never came to small towns in my life. And I'm like, wow. So you guys, and I'm telling you, boy, hey, what about your Wisconsin team? Oh, man, hey, I'm a fan. So you know, I'm a fan. I, I love watching that stuff. Okay? I love good basketball. I'm a street guy first. I love good basketball. You guys, I really pride myself. You guys care a lot more. I think we did San Luis Obispo the only maybe one we ever did like in California. Right? In all the four years, we had like 80 or 100 kids. One out of all in California. I have to come out here to get some work in. Okay? But we're going to build California, which we are now. This year's been the best of ever. Because now I'm really falling deeper in love with Pro Shot. And I said, man, I got to get California together. Okay? But you guys are amazing out here, so I just want you to feel good about yourself on that. Okay? Now, with the hop, this is how we're going to do it. We're going to work. Uh, we got everything now. Gregory will come here. So now we're going to work together as a team. So Gregory's there. So let's test real quick. What is this? Uh, oh, we didn't. I skipped something. It's your fault too, because you had it on my mind the whole day, so I kept, I kept not wanting to give it to her. We're going to do this real quick. Everybody shoot me. Oh, okay. I'm just joking. Hey, shoot, start, hey, shoot, put the balls down and shoot to yourself like you got a real ball in here. Okay? All right, hold it up. Now, this is, I know, I know your coach has got good offhands too, so these are good offhands. Damn. Even this is fine. It's right here, okay? We don't want you way down here. We don't want it dropped. So the ones that we didn't tell to stop, pay attention to the other ones, don't do this. This is just for people to go by the down, okay? Watch this here. This is called the touch. The simplest way to get your offhand good. So the ones we didn't stop, watch this. Touch. You guys start working at it as we come around. All you gotta do is like you're gonna karate chop my head in half, and this touches right at the top. So these are, this is for the ones that don't have a good offhand that we didn't stop. Let's check you out. Go ahead, go ahead, bad. Show me the bad ones. Yes, that, that's good. Now we're here. Let's do it. Bam, perfect. Now, do it again. Shots. Today was perfect for what I needed to do. So this is how we're going to work on the, this is how we're going to practice the hop. We only got one left hander, so the left hand guy, well you just go with us and we'll teach it backwards for you. Okay? So this is how we're going to practice the hop. Feet straight forward, hop and dip, hop, dip and turn, and we're swaying forward. So watch this again. Hop and dip. Hop, dip, and you see it's a slight turn because we're coming from this side, and then you're going to sway forward. One more time. Hop straight, hop, turn, and then shot. Now listen, you're going to do this again. There's going to be some of you that want to show you that you're the champion long jumper, so you want to go. Ah. Ah. <laughs> it's not about that. Remember, the higher you jump, you see the ball. So I want, this is what I really want. When you get advanced working by yourself, this is how you should be doing it. Bang, bang, bang. 
Okay? Now, listen, because we're just going to stay where we're at. From this side, pay attention, except for the lefty. Where's my lefty? Yeah. There he is. You will be like this on this side. Here you go. Ready? Slight turn. When you go the opposite side, to your hard side, your guy's hard. So watch this. This is the righties when we get on the left side. So now we're hot. Watch this. Bam. Here. You guys got that? Because when you're coming off your shot here, you got to get back. You guys got it? To the left. We're already here. To the right. You got to get here. You guys got it? Let's go. Bang, bang, bang. Don't move back till you make two or three. Here we now I'm going to teach you guys how, the way you miss, and how to correct it. Tomorrow, what I'm going to do, I'll come to everyone's going to get a chance between us coaches and Gregory and everybody. We're going to show you how you miss. Right? Where's my man again? I punish for missing that. Where's my you got? Oh, okay. Now, that's why maybe if you miss a certain way, this is how we're going to know you corrected your shot. Just don't miss the same way. So here, here's the reasons we miss, okay? If we miss this way, which is mostly where I miss, it's because I twisted my hand. I don't know why I always make that when I do that. But I, I sometimes twist my hand a little bit, okay? So we're gonna call that turn. Everybody say turn. And for your lefties, it'll be the other way, one left, okay? Now, remember we told you about the cooking jar. Once again, okay, I'm gonna fight it. This is fun. Ball coming off the two, the ring finger and the pinky. Because what happens there sometimes, look at it, my finger's straight, but it went to the side because it came off of this. You guys understand that? And you probably felt that before, so now you know why. Okay. I told you I'm a pretty good aimer, right? Now, now this, I'm just being funny sometimes. I like to joke around. Okay. People say, I, I, I aim for the, who aims for the front of the ring? Who aims for the back of the ring? Who aims for the middle of the ring? No right or wrong. I mean, I haven't found out a right or wrong here, just so you know. My philosophy for me, for me, is up and over. I, I just say up and over the front of it. That's me. Some people aim for the front, but say if someone told me to aim for the front, I'm a pretty good aimer, right? Ooh, shoot, I got two points. Ooh, I got four points. Oh, I'm killing it. Am I killing it? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. But my release point is right here. A lot of you have release point problems. Where's my? What did I tell you to do? What, where, what did so I tell like, you? I, I, uh, my armpit, like from your elbow here, whatever I see on my eye level. Her, yeah, everyone, you don't have to touch it because I know you got this one. Right. Okay. You got your armpit. <laughs> touch your elbow. This is your elbow kit. Just from what I showed her, she lacks confidence, okay? She may not, I know she got swagger and jump, because I can just tell the way she walks around. <laughs> but on the basketball court, she was telling me I don't shoot, and I'm sitting there, okay, I'm waiting, I'm waiting. But her one problem was, she was uh, like a frozen rope. Chick Hearn used to call it the straight shot, okay? That's so here, this, I'm shooting here, but now I'm gonna put it above. You guys see the difference in that arc? Everyone put their elbow kit above their eye, I mean arm kit, and yeah, elbow kit above your eye. That's a good judge for those of you that don't have that, okay? Some of you good shooters and the coaches that are shoot, they already, they, they got nice releases and stuff. But some of you are right here, so everyone do this. Now we just raise it up. This above your eyebrows. She started, how many of you hit the roll, be honest? She was killing it. And then I'm looking at her and then where's your buddy at? Oh, she's right, <laughs> right in my face. She go, I go shoot, she goes, oh, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> So I'm like, okay, so I'm waiting for something crazy. You're not bad either. She has the turn down. I told her she kind of moves her head kind of crazy a little bit, right? So I told them two to watch each other. Hey, you guys all got these iPhones and stuff nowadays. I got to interrupt real quick. You guys don't know what to do, so I can't go far back with you guys. But me and Coach, and I don't know, he's probably, I know he's younger than me too. Maybe here a little bit, I don't know. Dude, you guys got the internet. You can go right today. Like, oh, how do I do this? You know, I put it, what did I put in? I put it like, how do you put a wood screw into a side? Dude, you guys have no excuses not to be good at whatever you do, not just, you know, basketball. You guys, it's there, the pro shot. Everybody say pro shot system. Pro shot. If your parents 
let you go online or have them watch whatever. Go on there. It's over 200 videos. You guys got to make. We had to pave the way, and you guys just come up. Oh, yeah, coach, how about this? I'm always better than you. Come on now. Yeah, no excuse not to be good if you want to be good, okay? So go and check that out, all right? So now here we go back to this. What is, what is it called if we miss this way? If we miss this way, we're going to call it because maybe it's off your ring finger, so we're going to say ring. So this way? Here? If we miss here, it's good. we're going to say arc. That means we've got to raise, raise it up. Arc. You guys got it? So. Okay. So if we're here, if I miss here, the next time I'm going to lock it out a little bit better. I won't miss the same way if I miss. I adjusted my shot. Now I shot short, I tell myself, all right, a little more arm, get my arm up, I get an arm. Here, I missed off my ring finger. Once again, let me lock my hand out, come off my two middle fingers, I adjusted my shot. Now missing long, Coach Hoover says relax a little more, but once again, I don't know how you guys feel. Do you guys, are you more frustrated if you get short or long? Hey, I, I'm, 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 I don't feel right if I'm missing short, but if I miss long, I think I'm still in the game. So they feel the same way. But Coach Hoover says maybe relax a little more, okay? So if you miss, but me, if you miss long, I'm okay with you because now I'm just gonna adjust a little bit. But we'll call that relax, okay? So what's this? That's how simple it is. We're not gonna, tomorrow we're gonna do the test game, but now we're gonna go, we're gonna work a drill. I'm gonna give you one move off the hop uh, right now, okay? So everybody, Watch this move here and repeat after me. Let's say, uh, all right, everybody say swipe through. Swipe through. Dribble, right. Dribble right. Jump left. Jump left. Here we go. Say it again. Swipe. We're going to get you guys from here to here. Where's my big guy at? I know I should not have let you be barred in. I'm going to put you in. Get down there. Get back. No, but your offense, you be defense. You play dummy defense on me, Jacob. Doesn't mean you're a dummy. That means you just play dummy D. Okay, come here. So when I make my move on you, just let me go. So when I go here, don't come with me, okay? Now, is that how you're playing D? We're in a real game now. Kind of nervous? Where, does, where do you want him, coach? Okay. So you're ready, right? You ain't ready here. Yeah. You ready? All right. I want you to react to whatever, to whatever the real game is. He's not. He got beat bad, so he can't help. You got to make decision time. Okay. Here we go. Well, what do I do now? Just so you know, Kobe, LeBron, do you know they literally cannot look, and they get to this spot. It's just up. Kobe, you, you watch him every time. Boom, it's up. I got to my spot. Let's react again. What are you going to do again? Whatever you want to do. Here we go. This is into the meat of the offense. If I'm here, if I can, you guys, are, this is my favorite. They call this a sweet spot. It's the elbow, but they call it the sweet spot. This is my favorite shot you know, my whole game. If I'm here, I'm killing it, I'm killing it. Coach would probably say, you got to get him. That's why here, now an up fake to get his hands up. And I just go on. Okay? Now, if he doesn't go, come here and he stays home. Because he goes, man, hey, you let your man score. If you let him score again, you're out. You ready? So you ain't going to come to me. You're going to lock up him. I'm going to kill it. You guys understand? This is where we want to get. Tomorrow I will teach you the mid range. Remember? Doesn't matter who it up. No mid range. Real basketball is you, mid range. Who wants to separate yourself from the best guards? Our best swing players in the whole country, whole world. So what's that mean? That means one of the better than One of the better than And the other side? Yes, you can. You master this? You're a whole other player. Chris Paul, Steve Nash. You know what? You ever watch him? See if you're so familiar. Come here, you guard me. And just kind of chase me from behind. If you're, they even do this from behind. Be good. Come on. Come on. Come on. They just be running around this little circle until they get, oh, my bad, you're not getting that. Until they get a little space, 
But as they're going, they're looking, and then they may get a step back, and they kill him. When you get in here, it doesn't matter if it's man or zone. He's got to make a decision. And, the, and I'm telling you, tomorrow I'm going to give you a drill for that. You guys got it? But right now what we're going to do is we're going to work on this move, and I'll come and help you. Okay? Some of you are not going to get it. So once again, thank you guys. Everybody say it. Swipe through. Swipe through. Dribble right. right. And look. When the right hand hits the ground, the ball hits the ground, the left foot hits the ground and jumps over. So we're swiping through. And we come. Boom. Now, we want to do it from three point line, but right now we'll move in. Okay. Here's another thing. You guys watch the hand warm the ball up. You guys ever seen any of the guys in the guys? Maybe it's not popular out here. Well, okay. Hey, <laughs> yeah, speaking of watching, that's like me. Hey, those guys, here's one of their favorite moves. Okay. And you guys probably do it too, okay? You guys do your, your swipe move. <laughs> a guy like him, when you do that, he just gonna press up and you're done. When we work on swipe through, there's another thing to swipe through. You guys swipe through like this. Come here again, Jacob. So you, you play me deep now. Swipe through. Okay, ready? Okay. I swipe to the outside, okay? He's right there. Here we go. I can shoot, okay? I can shoot. I swipe through here. Even if he's with me, what do I have? This whole other side. You guys, I, you have to learn this. Thank you, David. When you swipe through, if you swipe through, you can be the fastest guy in the world. Uh, and I know these coaches teach good defense. If you swipe here, they're going to take one big step here. And all you do is run back into them. When you swipe through, we're going towards the basket. You guys see the difference? We don't want this. We want this. All right, let's go to a basket, work on it, and I'll come and help you. Stop.
we're jumping forward and a lot of your shoulder and hip and elbow.
Now, if you do whatever you do, I think you should pause two seconds if you're going to switch things up. But now, the one thing both of these two did, you know what they both did the same? Now, that's, that's part of it right there. Instead of just a regular make. 
And that's why Steve, uh, Steve Curtis, I can't even use that word because he makes so many straight swishes. If you guys play little mental games like that with yourself, hey, you'll, you'll get a lot better. Seriously, they compete with each other. Or, I got it, just so you guys know, I got to talk to Coach Hoover. He's got a little game he does too, and I got to get it all down. But he does minus points. I mean, so he's side of the rim. You guys, and I know you probably figure out what he's going to do coach. But, and you can, you can start judging and charting yourself. I'm telling you, you know, analytics is really big. If you guys don't know what's going on now, every NBA team, a lot of major colleges, they have all kinds of little video stuff up above. And they're judging where you're shooting. They're judging, like, when I'm, because guess what's happening with Cleveland? Did you guys know now, Ky is Kyrie Irving better than Dylan Dobie? No. 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 no, is he better than him as a straight play? Yeah, he's probably he's more athletic than everything, right? Well, guess what? They are better when he is on the court and Kyrie is not winning percentage. And that's both defense and offense. All the, the analytics are going. And I'm telling you, I used to judge myself like that. Like, I'm the type of player, if I play with new people, I'm, they call me a fitter. I'm, I can score a bunch of points, right? When I play with a new team, I just try to fit in and gain my way, right? Well, I play with a couple teams, guys that don't really know me, and guess what? We're up by 12, but I only made one basket, but I probably got like five assists, six rebounds. When the guy comes off the bench, what do you think they're going in for? Me. Because I'm not scoring. And I'm like, and then soon, so here I go and sit down, right? I come over here, they go over me. Now the other team's up 10. Put me in again. You can't judge people by just scoring. Analytics, I love analytics, but also, I mean, also love the test too. I, I look at people too, okay? But you guys gotta understand that part of the game too, all right? It's all about different percentages. But if you guys can, same with shooting, if you guys start telling yourself, even if I make it, it wasn't a switch, you, can you imagine what you're, the, what you're doing to yourself? Like, I made it, but I want to switch. So you'll, you'll adjust your shot even more, okay? Those are little things. The next thing we're gonna do is, we're gonna really get into shooting. Every group, every player gets five shots. We're gonna start on the right corner. Okay, so, so if, you can give you So if everyone's gonna, hey, this is me. When we do these drills, because I'm telling you right now, the pass is almost as important as the shot. It's not as important, you gotta make the shot, okay? I play with this guy, so if I call you Sean today, that's not good, okay? Because that's the guy I play with. This dude here, I mean, I ain't seen too many white guys like this guy here. Like, I'm good, but I'm old. This guy, all he has is an in and out, an in and out crossover, and a hesitation pull up. And I watch him break dudes' ankles on the table. I mean, he's 40 years old. I was like, wow. Well, we play together. So he breaks people down. Don't stay out there, John. He breaks people down, boom. And here goes my pass. And, I, and I'm a temperamental shooter. I go, well, listen, if I miss the shot, I'll start kicking the air and going off. I can't stand it. Okay? But so if I call you Sean, that's what Sean does. Or he does this. Oh, God. <laughs> and so, it's not good to be called Sean today, okay? So now, when we have our group here, everybody's a rebounder. You can have maybe two balls. One pass. So I want nice passes to Josh. Nice pass so he can get his rhythm. But we're doing four shoots. This gets the ball, so you got the rebound. And it's me. I'm the passer. Nice pass again. You guys get it? If I come over and take a wild, crazy pass, that makes me very upset. Got it? Okay. You can do it. Here we go. All right, let's go. Spread out. Five shots each. I'll uh, re reiterate a couple of things, too. You're not going to get too many chances in your life where you got someone that's, I mean, hopefully the coaches are learning everything, too. If someone's going to be here, you've got five <coughs> founders, and someone's going to be around and that's fine and the coach will tell me if you're lying who here shoots uh 45 percent from the field in the regular season it was if you don't know what you think you do you, you do okay not too many okay so that tells me is that you need to listen to some people okay now i'm not gonna lie you see my day i got to the back pretty much whenever i wanted to and I could touch over the top of that square right there. So I used to take guys to the hole and dunk on them a lot, okay? 
My whole career, I shot 58% from the field. And I'm going to tell my age, we didn't have a three-point line. Okay, and I became a great three-point shooter. Well, maybe, well, now I'm getting older again, but I mean, I was really good. Okay? I shot 58%. That's big man stuff there. Okay? You guys, I'm just here to try to help you. And I'm telling you, high school guys, this is going to happen, too. You, you, tell me how you feel when you guys lose the game. And I hope you do what I do. When I lose, then I'm gonna lie. Oh, man, I, I should have shot around a little more. Could have worked more. This is when you guys do this in the, in the off season. In the off season, where you get everything out. Okay, me. Here's my philosophy. And I just gotta try to keep these young college guys the same thing. If we're our coach, our coach is crazy. I mean, he had, I don't. I mean, once again, I'm gonna say something. It's up to other coaches. I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm good at endurance. I think people work too hard. Yeah, okay. I can't remember my whole college career. Or even, I, I didn't play high school, but and professional, or you play my buddy. There weren't until I got older. There weren't too many times we lost a game when we retired. Okay. Regular coach, we make them run five miles in the hot sun, an hour or two on this crap. But once again, that's my philosophy. Okay. But my thing is, if you're going to run, you know, you guys run, you know, everyone cries, but oh, they threw up. Oh, I, I still don't understand why coaches want kids to throw up. So whatever. Okay, that's on you. I'd rather do my work and do my skills, okay? But anyway, can you imagine this? I'm just giving you something crazy. Say you're a long distance runner, right? In the arcade, but I come here, what? I just think they train uh, too hard sometimes. But if you're going to train that way, especially high school guys, when you play against your opponent, this is what I do to my college guys. Right out here, like, this is how this my guy. I'm very respectful, but I'm, I'm going to put it on. Okay? Put it on there. This is my guy. If I play high school, I'm the same way. Here, right up in your face. One second in there. Go ahead. And. I even had one of them telling me, you know what? That should be your philosophy. If you're going to run up and down and go crazy when I play against you, if you're here, we're here. It's like, say Bruce Lee had a karate instruction for $40 for two days. I'm there. And I'm going to sit there and listen everything you have to say. And I'm not saying that as an ego thing. I'm just trying to tell you. I'm trying to help you. You guys need to understand that, okay? I told you about the Nike clinic I went to. $195 for two days. They didn't get each one shot. And a bunch of drills gave it each one Nike camp on your resume. Are you kidding me? Okay? So I just want you to understand. I'm here. I'm serious about what I do. Basketball is my passion. I mean, I'm telling you. And I know it's your coaches, too. Remember, they've been where you want to be. That's what you need to understand, okay? So I want you guys, we do these drills, I want you to go all out. I'm getting ready to give you a break, but I'm going to give everybody an opportunity every break. One time you'll shoot against me, one time you'll shoot against me, and whoever wins, I got a little bag that has a four on there, and you need me, you can have that in the So how many, how many baskets do you have? Yeah. Okay, so I need, and everyone's going to get a chance, and please don't go twice. So everyone gets a chance, okay? So before our break, give me nine people. This is my basket. Give me nine people to go against me. And if you win, you get a magnet souvenir. Come on, I'm so Come on, I know What you do is, I want you, it's just going to be a hard dribble, a hop, and a shot. Bam, that's nice. So I need you to do two. Real quick, gauge speed now. Bam. All right, so that's what we do. The next one will be a hard dribble and a, oh no, the next, yeah. I got it right. I want to get you guys going on there. This next one is just a crossover, hop and shot. So right here, come stand, stand right here. This is not on the move right now. So just crossover, hop, shot. Yeah, good. He's going to do two of those. Dave's going to do through the legs, hop, shot. This is all off the hop, good. Then he's going to do behind the back, hop, shot. Nice, wow, that's good. Then he's going to do, we're going to do double moves. So now, 
do crossover through the legs. Hop, shot. Oh, man. This is the kind of stuff you're going to add to your game because when you're doing the hop, right, and say you got your dribble still, they think you're pulling, you can still go either way, okay? He does this very, very good. Now, I'm gonna add, when you do the two moves, you can mix it up. So now let's do crossover behind the back hop shot. Oh, man, I'm, man I like that. Man. So you guys got it? Those we're doing. So what's the first one? Hard dribble. Second one, just do it for me now. Shoot it, no crossover. Next one, through the legs. Next one, behind the back. Next one is double moves. You guys got it? So he can, you can do a crossover behind the back, behind the back crossover, and everything is off the hop. And you only get two shots each. The next person goes, when everyone's done, they go over here. And then we're done, over here. And we're gonna work with some shots. So just remember what I'm doing. There, there's a method to my madness. We're just going slow, we we'll bring it up, and then we'll start doing volume shots. Because one thing, Here's who are who your plays knockout. Okay. Now if knockout, that game knockout. Oh yeah. Now if you're just gonna do it to move around, it's okay. But for a real game, it's not good. Does anybody know why? Shh. Why it's not a good game. That's what you guys are doing. You're doing. You're, you're not even thinking about your shot. You're thinking about following it. Go get the that. That's the worst thing you can do. When people say follow your shot, I don't. The only time I teach people to follow their shot is in here. And then run it in. I want my shooters first of all to be so good and confident. I want them to stay in the shot. The other guys will get the rebound unless it just hits. And I see now in here. I miss on purpose sometimes. Okay, I know that sounds crazy, but if I have a big guy and I was going here and he slid me to this side, I'll shoot it over there. Come real quick and put it on. Okay? I even got moved. You know, I told you about that all the time. You know, I go up and let the guy react. I just go in and laugh and run a little bit running. But that's me, okay? But I don't follow my shot out here. That's why the drills, I don't want you, that's why I want passers a lot, because I want people following because you just follow your shot. To me, mentally, you're already telling yourself. I don't think I missed any shot. I'm going to tell you how confident I have to prove myself in shooting because I shoot at crazy angles, okay? So if I come here, you know, sometimes I'll come out here and make a bang. Oh, that's lucky. So you know what I say? I call out bank on every bank shot I do. So if I'm coming in here, I'm going to bank. And I, and I let them go as I'm shooting. So they can't say it's luck or whatever. So that's how confident I am on my shot. But only, I want you guys, we're doing form shooting. Some of you guys here are still following your shot, you're thinking about it. And then I'm telling you guys, it seems that you guys, you got with, with, you're with your buddies, you either try, I want you to go shoot the same spot, but you're missing. Hey, if they're making over here and you're not, don't be ashamed to come in here. There's nothing wrong with that. You gotta work on your own game, and I'm gonna tell you right now. Here's a good thing how I got better. You young guys want to get better real fast. I mean, the fastest way to get better. The reason I can tell you that because not only I lived it. I mean, there's like four of my buddies that never played basketball. They hung with us and played every day with us, and they're as good as most people. Not college level, but they're really good in the street. It's because they hung around people that played. They played with people better than them. Young guys here and girls, you need to go play with adults when you can. You know the number one reason I have people play with adults? Because adults cheat. Okay. They're going to pump you, which means they're going to bully you, and you have to give me the ball, ball, and That's why you get good really fast. If you want to get good fast, that's what we do. Every high school team, my buddies, they bring us into scrimmage. They're high school guys. Because we teach them and we bully them. And next, especially small teams. And now they go against, I don't know if you guys, how much you follow basketball, but where I'm from, we got the modern days, the following nation, top of the nation almost every year, okay? Now these schools, they lose to them by 10 or 15, but the center is big. And they're happy like, man, and my way, like, ah, oh, these little guys are all in our face, okay? So you, these are things you gotta learn, you gotta realize, okay? So we're doing these drills, dude, every single drill is for a reason. Whenever you're doing it, if you're the passer, hey, take pride in making a nice pass. If 
you're a shooter, I'm pretending I'm in a game. You have to imagine yourself in a game, okay? You guys got to take this. I mean, you're doing pretty good. I know we got a lot of people, but once I see you guys start moving around, last minute, they're the same spot, and they're missing, take advantage of this, okay? And another thing, you need to spend some time by yourself. Play with your friends, compete with your friends, but you need to go by yourself. That way you're not embarrassed about this. In a row here, okay? And start here. If you're making 20, 20 out of 30, okay, I'll step back. How do you think I got good? I told you nobody taught me how to play, okay? I didn't have a father or nothing. All my all my siblings were in gangs and in jail all their life, and now they're all dead, okay? Me, I'm the only one that played sports in my whole family, okay? And sports saved my life, I'm telling you. But I sat there every day, I had to figure out how can I get good. You know, the big guy fought my shot. I said, okay, let me extend my elbow, my shoulder here, and extend here. Then the, the summer before I went to my junior college to play, I, I did left hand every day. And this is what you guys got to do. I would go play left hand, not shooting left out here, but in here I'd shoot left, even if I lost. That's hard to humble yourself like that, but I didn't care if I lost. And the guys were like, oh, I kicked your butt today. But they don't know in my head, they don't work it on my left today, okay? Whatever you do with your strong hand, you got to do double with your weak. And that's how you become good, okay? Now we're going to do penetrate dish. So, uh, Jacob, come out here. And you come here. So now what we're going to do is we're going to have a lot of sides. We're going to do both sides. Keep back, right? All right, Mike. Now I'll do it if I don't work over here. I might do one on one. So he's gonna, he's out here. Say he swipe through, swipe and swipe, and he, he, he's penetrating. Jump stop. He, he dishes. Got me pass. I'm sorry. And he shoots. That's penetrating dish. Now this is what people don't really understand. I told him about the open up to the tournaments we play. There's a method to our math. Say he's guarding me. Uh, you come guard him. Now, a lot of times people start get on the three-point line, but I like that if you creeped in here and as I'm dribbling, come in, and then he went to the three-point. See, right now, this guy's like, well, he ain't shooting the three, so that would be a long two. Sometimes, well, I'm going to play dummy defense. I need to be stable and let it beat you. Play you want to play good defense, okay? So now, when we play these hoop it up, even everything when I say hoop it ups and Gus Macker, it's the same in real basketball. It's just you got two more people. So we could be doing three-man game right here. Cut in and it's all going to work out, okay? Now, a lot of people, when they swipe and beat somebody, they continue here so he doesn't have to come too much, okay? Here's a little trick for you guys. If you want to beat him open, him open. What I do is, I beat him, I dribble towards him. Now, what are you going to do? Play deep. I want him just to gamble and I kill him. You guys understand that? It's not about me just beating him. If I get beat really bad, then he's I need to help. I draw people stupid. That's why when I go through the lane, I'm not always going fast. I just want this guy to come to me one little second. Bang! And I got him. Okay? So that's what I'm going to work on first. Now listen, if you go to the little thing, you do not want to call for one second. I'm calling it. Here's the moves here. We're going to be going both sides. Oh, great. You can set the home up when you have the chance on. Yeah, we're going to go those two baskets. Those two baskets and the two middles. I want a lot of space, okay? But you're gonna get a lot of reps now. Now listen on how this goes, okay? Everything here, the first move is just gonna be a swipe and we go, okay? And remember, hey, basketball is a lot of acting. You have to act. If you just swipe through and they know you're just going here, they don't have to react. I don't know you're gonna pass. I don't want them to think, I don't even look over here. I look at my peripheral. You guys don't know what that means? That's out the side here. When I'm swiping through, I'm coming here, I want them to react, bam! I want them to think I'm driving, and then I let it go. You guys got that? So when we go, there's going to be two lines. One here, one here, I mean four lines. One there, one there. Penetrating dish, make sure you rotate the line so you go both sides, because here's another thing. Even my junior college guy, uh, if you come out here for the three two, three ball, you don't have to shoot it. Don't worry yet. So here, now, Coach was telling me too, some of you younger ones, and I'm, I'm good with what he said. He wants you to stay with your best pivot foot, believe it or not. I stayed with one pivot foot all my life. I was so good at talking to both pivot feet. But when I train 
uh, fathers and professionals. I train both of you, the two young ones. So on this side, pay attention, young ones. You're going to swipe through this way. You guys got it? And anyone on the road do that too? You guys got that? So here, look, here would be a different swipe. Here I'm crossing over swipe. You guys got that? And that's coach one. Okay? And the varsity guys and the coach want you to, to learn both pivot feet, work both. Now what happens on this side of the basket, if you guys learn basketball, and I learned so much from that three on three, because you get a million reps. When they're going here, you guys are not, you guys always have to pass on the video. Sometimes that's not good because you're passing at a bad angle. Okay? So you want to learn to be able to do both both pass. Boom, you miss like that. My guys, some of my guys in college are so horrible. On this side, I just I just can't believe it. So on that side, that's what we're doing. Now listen to the moves again. Mix them up. First one's gonna be a swipe through, penetrate, jump stop, and dish. Now here's another thing. So if I'm coming here, now I want you to say, I want you to like say you're a gambler on me. Fast, so we let him. You know how LeBron James throw that pass last night? That inbounds pass? You see that? He went, that's what he does a lot. I allow him to do that because he's good at it. So if you're going to gamble, I don't know that you come to meet people like, oh, this person's not a good, this person's Sean. Sean so ain't a good passer. So now I beat it, she's coming to get me. This is why I don't want to go to the run. If I'm on the run, I'm thinking, you know what a stunt is? It's a stunt. That's how you make people do things, okay? So I come here, you're going to stunt there. So stunt, and then come and get me, and I'm going on the run. So here we go. Okay. That's why I don't want you to pass on the run. You guys understand that? That's why we jump stop. No matter what you do, you play any way you want. So I'm jump stopping. Okay? She's going for the bacon. That's good. You understand? I want to jump stop, and then I'll show you why later. So now... So we have four lines in each basket. Let's go and I'll come and work with you. 